Hi friends, in our previous video we talked about beehive cocoon process. In today's video, we will study Otto Hoffman byproduct cocoon process. So there we read some limitations in beehive process. For example, the quality was not good of the coke, and also we cannot we were not able to recover our byproducts. But in Otto Hoffman process, it is it is the more developed developed process to do carbonization. So it is more developed way developed in sense we can even recover our byproducts so this is a modern approach as well in this byproducts are some of the byproducts are mainly coal gas ammonia tar benzoyl oil etc here are some uh, important byproducts which we get from otto hoffman process also uh, we read in beehive that heating was done inside the inside the oven but in otto hoffman process we do heating externally and also we do it on the basic on the basis of regenerative system it means heat of the waste gases it is utilized to heat the oven heat of This is also very important topic for exam point of view. So you can make notes, you can make points for this to remember. Now we will see how to make diagram of this oven. So firstly, there are some rectangular chambers. Inside, we have a crushed coal here. So these chambers are placed one by one. So they will all act as a battery and around 25 to 1000 chambers we can uh, place here. Also again on the top we have coal charging doors here. These are some rectangular chambers. So there is a common pipe so that the final the final product final gases can be come over this single pipe so you, it will go out from here we can recover coal gas also here we can have our refactory bricks again which have already have some initial temperature They already have some sort of heat present here. So we can call it as heat generators. And you can make a structure like this. So we have some outlets here like this, it has a purpose. From these nozzles are air producer gases. We pass some air producer gases and then it go through these chambers, these bricks and as we know these bricks have already some heat pretty present here so it will go up like this and 
the ga gases will flow like this it will produce heat inside the chambers as well so carbonization takes place here and after all this process waste come out from here from both the side we can waste gases of this whole chimney So now we can check all the working of this oven. So basically crushed coal is put inside these silica chambers. Note this is silica chambers and its height is around 10 to 12 meters. And its length is around 3 to 5 meters and width is 0.3 to 0.5 something around meter. So initially finely crushed coal is put inside these chambers. and the holes on the top of these chambers are again closed so that no air can pass through it. Then these ovens are heated up to 1200 degrees Celsius by like burning of the gaseous fuel we were talking about so that waste gases are used. And also carbonization takes place in the central zone. As we know all the gases burns here. Yeah, so this whole cycle takes around 11 to 18 hours to finish. And after once we produce the coke, the coke produced is sent to the quenching station. Quenching is a cool down process. And quenching can be done via two ways. Uh, one, we can spray water. which is the wet quenching and one we can pass the inert gas N2 which is what we call dry quenching. Dry quenching is preferable because it will produce good quality of coke. Again, the yield of coke is around 75%. In the beehive process, it was 80%. Here it is 75. As we know, recovery of byproducts is possible here. So there are several methods in which we can recover the several byproducts. So I'll make another video for that explaining that because this video will go long if we explain if I explain this in here. So thank you, please subscribe to my channel.